Hey everybody, I have an unwilling participant for my video today that I wanted y'all to meet. I told y'all I have three kitty cats and this is my Dora and she's mad at me because I snatched her up because if she's going to be in the makeup room, she's got to contribute. But here's my gorgeous, ah! <laughs> but anyways, okay guys, so today I wanted to show you some spoilers or well, a spoiler. <laughs> for the April boxy charm for like next month. So this one coming up, they announced the first spoiler is one of five ColourPop palettes. And I am so excited guys, cause I actually had just ordered this first palette. Uh, I think this was variation two in the picture. I don't know if that's what it's actually gonna be, but I had actually ordered this like two days before they announced it. So. It's the Element of Surprise by ColourPop. This is the inside. You've got some neutrals, pop of pink, a nice kind of duo chromey purple, some shimmers, oranges, browns, all the works. This is a gorgeous palette. And I'm so excited that we're gonna get a ColourPop palette. Like I know they're not high end but y'all they are incredible so for today's video i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a look which i have on right now from this palette that you can recreate if you already have it or if you get it in your boxy charm so just a close up this is the look i made i used several colors from the palette you'll see in just a second and um yeah i guess that's it you guys so uh, just so we don't forget, I still have my giveaway going. It should be the first video when you come to my channel and that is still going strong. We are close to meeting the qualifications on Crate Finds in. Sorry for the meowing. Somebody changed her mind about being in the room. But <laughs> uh, the giveaway is still going. Be sure you go get your entries. If you've already entered, go get your daily video entries too, just so you get more chances to win. And as soon as that is done, I have a couple more things to give away, but I want to wait to close out this first giveaway before I do anything else. So um, that is it. We are going to go straight into a tutorial. I'll give you some final thoughts about the palette because this is the first time I've played in it. And yeah, so here we go. Okay, so we are just going to dip straight into this palette. I've already primed my eyelids. And we're going to use this color right here. And that is Labyrinth. And we're just going to use this as a transition shade. Just lay it down in the crease real easy to kind of get things going. Okay. After that color, we are just going to go into... Um, this one right here and this is silk street and we're just gonna build that up in the crease even more this one does have quite a bit of fallout the other one didn't really though but this one has quite a bit okay so that is a super simple crease, really easy to do. And now I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and lay it down for a cut crease. Y'all guessed it. Okay, so the crease is cut and I have been dying to dip into this shade. So we're gonna take this gorgeous purple here and this is Subdue. And I'm just going to take it on my finger and lay it down. Okay, and because I'm feeling super extra today, we are also going to take this shade right here, Rayon, and put it in the outer um, edge of my lid and kind of try to fade it. Okay, so that faded so good, but I'm gonna go ahead and take 
um, that dark shade I used and just get a couple of these harsh edges out. Alright, and then on a small pencil brush, this is an M321, I'm going to take feels right here and pop that in my inner corner. We are still avoiding the brow bone because microblading, but I can make the inner corner pop. Okay, so that actually has like a strange purple tint going on but I like it it fits with the look okay so now for the lower lash line because I really want to play with this color we are going to go into opulent that is this bright pink and honestly I just want to see what the pigment is like and add something else to the look while we're all colorful Okay, so I like the little pop that added. That was definitely nice. Um, I'm gonna use one more ColourPop product in true fashion with this video. I have got a ColourPop Loose Highlight in Nomi. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of that in the lid and use this for my highlight. And it's super pigmented, guys. Wait for it. Yeah. You have to be really cautious with this because it is so pigmented off the jump and just a teeny bit goes a really long way with this one. <clears throat> and then to finish off the ColourPop theme, I'm going to use Mrs. or MRS, I don't know, it's from the Karuchi and Colourpop collab, and I'm just going to put that on my lips real quick. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and finish up all this other stuff off camera, and I will be right back to talk to you guys. Okay, y'all, so I put on some lashes. And a little bit of liner just to hide my lash band and some mascara. And I think that is it for this look. I tried out something new with my lashes. Uh, Marissa that I collabed with posted and said that it's easier to put your lashes on if you put the glue on your eyelid instead of on the lash. So I tried it and like it's definitely a better concept and I see where she's going with that. But I gotta practice that more because that's really hard. But I did get them closer to where they're supposed to be. They just look a little funny because I think I trimmed these down too far. But that is it for this look. Here is a close up of how this looks. Ignore the wonky lashes and my eyebrows, y'all. Just to update. They're definitely fuller. This is strictly microblading. No product at all. There's still a couple little patches, like there's one here and one up here. But like, this is all microblading and it's, it's, it's real, you guys. I'm waiting to see how it heals up all the way. I'm cleared for foundation, but not quite cleared for actual pomade or pencils or anything right now because it's still scabby, so nothing on the brows. But they look way better this time. Powder microblading is the way to go if you want some full brows. But that is it. Um, I absolutely love this palette. This is one of five possible variations. Just happened that I actually ordered it like two days before they announced that we might be getting it anyways. I hope I don't get this one because I don't want repeats. But if I do, y'all might get a giveaway. Who knows? But I wanted to show y'all how to create a look with that palette. I haven't heard any other definite spoilers, but I've seen there may be a pretty vulgar liquid liner in the works. That sounds amazing. I've heard that's a possibility. No promises, but this is your spoiler for April. Um, this is a gorgeous palette, and thank you to my Crepe Fun Squad 
for voting for me to do this one. Um, they voted that this was what they wanted to see out of my new palette. And I thought about it and I was like, well, it is coming in BoxyCharm, so might as well put up a tutorial so y'all can be ready when it gets in. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys. What? What is hers? Hers so angry. Angry? Who the angry kitty? Oh, oh. She says, Mom, put me down. Come on, Mom. Down. Down. No, no, no. You don't get to go down that easy. Got claws, though. Ugh.